This is a sextant, which is kind of the end of the evolution of a lot of instruments that were used to sight the altitude of stars in the sky. You typically use them for water navigation because you're seeing a physical horizon. The sky is kind of like a dome and you have the altitude of a celestial object, which is the, the angle from the horizontal to however high it is. And then the other angle is called the azimuth, which is basically dividing up the horizon into 360 degrees. We use the information about its altitude and its azimuth to estimate location. What the sextant does is it measures the altitude of celestial objects like the sun. So you get two images. This is a half silvered mirror and you look through this telescope and what you'll see is the horizon, number one. But number two is this mirror here is on a movable uh, arm which changes angle. The light from let's say the sun in this case will reflect off of this mirror and I can put a filter in the way so I don't have to stare directly into the naked sunlight and then that image of the sun will then reflect off of this partially silvered mirror and I'll see the image of the sun brought down to the horizon and then by manipulating this lever arm and this little uh, veneer screw what I can do is get uh, the altitude of the sun to a precision of about an arc minute, which is one sixtieth of a degree, which represents one nautical mile of uncertainty. So that's the kind of precision with good practice you could get with uh, a sun sighting. So what I'm doing now is I'm sighting the sun, which is up in the sky. I put down a little shade so I don't burn my eyes out. And then I try to find its location by roughly scanning back and forth. I adjust it so that the lower limb of the sun, that is to say the lower part of the image of the sun, is just touching the horizon. And I look at my watch, 8, 37, 45 Eastern Daylight Time, which I can then turn into Greenwich Mean Time. This is a coarse reading in degrees, so you can see that we ended up with about 36 some odd degrees. And then this little drum here tells you how many arc minutes, an arc minute is 1 60th of a degree. So I read off here that I got 23 degrees, and then this little set of lines here called a vernier um, allows you to then get um, tenths of an arc minute. What I now can do is do a few corrections. One is for the refraction of the atmosphere. One is for my height above sea level uh, and uh, something called an index correction for my instrument. And then once I get the true altitude of the sun by making these corrections, I can then go to a set of tables that uh, I can use to just basically add and subtract a set of numbers and give me a prediction for the altitude of the sun for this moment, if you like, and then for assume latitude and longitude, and then I can basically do a little correction and figure out where my line of position is.